There's no such thing as good hair or bad hair. The answer lies in grooming your hair. Just like a plant, if you do not nurture your hair, it will dry and look unhealthy. And given the growing demand for the provision of such services, one of the most common businesses in town across the country are salons. But how does one stand out in an already flooded market? I am very aggressive in marketing and also word of mouth. And just overall is the service that you give to people. She's a hair designer, a celebrity stylist and entrepreneur who started off as an employee at L'African Salon. Today she owns the beauty parlor. I was working for this guy, my boss, and one day I just woke up in the morning. I came to the salon to work as usual and he actually left instructions that Raquel is going to be your boss. I was very green in business. I didn't know how to start and I didn't even have a business plan to start to begin with. Raquel advises that the first thing one should consider before opening a hair salon is experience in the field. Simply doing a course in hairstyling is not enough. It is recommended that you gain some hands-on experience first. It was a bit hard because um, I was a hairdresser and uh, now I'm a business person and I have to think differently as a business woman and I had to learn more as I went on. Before venturing into the business, one also ought to ensure that they have enough capital because salons could take more than a year before the business breaks even and become profitable. The capital could be mobilized through personal savings or loans from a bank or any other lender. You can, you can have the, the, the expertise, like uh, you know, you have the talent, you're a hairdresser, you're good in hair. You might not be good in managing the business or you might not have the capital. So you just get professional help, somebody who can actually, you know, just help you into getting into there. After completing all legal and regulatory requirements, including obtaining permits and licenses, L'African was good to go under the new management headed by a young lady who knew nothing about owning and managing a salon, but who opted to give it her best shot. There are those times, especially when it comes to employee turnover and maintaining clients and just basically running an outfit to make it grow to a level you want it to be at. So the challenges are there, especially stability of uh, tenure and um, location. She retained some employees and hired others. Raquel observes that hairdressers should have social skills to enable them interact with customers and keep them satisfied. Fortunately for her, her team of hairdressers are well trained and experienced. I would like my clients to always be happy whenever I'm not there. And as fussy as they are all the time, always, it really takes a lot to convince them that my employees are also um, good enough to take care of their hair needs and actually they become better so now the problem is just uh, to retain them as with any other startup business advertising is key in attracting the target consumer raquel is aggressive in marketing l'african online but also advises that for salons word of mouth referral is the best form of advertisement internet is the easiest and the most cheapest way of marketing <laughs> Yeah, but I get, I actually get positive results and I get to like do it like whenever I feel like, whenever I want, I just post pictures. Repeat customers are enticed by the professional service rendered, which beats off competition, as well as the convenient location of the business in question. I am best known for designing, especially. I, when I talk about designing, is you see somebody's facial structure and you put, you actually give them the best hairstyle that goes with them. But all in all, it's not just about looking beautiful. It's about hair care, how to maintain and take care of your hair and your scalp in a much healthy way. Yeah. So if people know me, they know me about mostly on how I design and how I actually pull off the, you know, the end result. And on a lighter note, I ask Raquel why weaves are so fashionable, especially for those in the limelight. Weaves are here to stay. Whether they make noise or they do what, they're here to stay. But anyway, what I can say is um, I think most people have this bad idea or this negative idea of weaves because they've had bad experience or maybe they just don't know. So my celebrities, they are always on the screen, right? And they need something that... Uh, is always easy to maintain. With your natural hair, you can't style it every day. 
but with a weave you can maintain your natural hair inside healthy and be styling your weave every day. Finally, Raquel advises on hair sins that you should avoid at all costs. Too much heat, bleaching, using the wrong products, shampooing too often, not shampooing often enough, pulling hair tight, overprocessing, rough handling, and holding on to split ends. The beauty industry is really growing and is still growing and clients are demanding for more quicker, faster and cheaper. And for women to women who realize that i mean being natural is also a, a god uh, god's gift but to maintain that natural beauty look you have to keep on uh, uh, you know engaging with your hairdresser and your beautician to be able to identify a good hairdresser one needs to look the part and indeed whenever you look at raquel Mboya's hair she does look the part from the state of her hair it is clear she walks the talk